black aliens have hit six major cities around the world, and every city is reporting significant damage and casualties. Among them, Westopolis has received the heaviest casualties due to its weakened defense system. Downtown Westopolis has been almost completely destroyed. Unconfirmed sources have also reported seeing a black hedgehog in Westopolis. Shadow? Deploy the troops now, and if you find Shadow with the black aliens, then kill them all. But sir, isn't Shadow on our side? I gave you an order, soldier. He's evil and he's the enemy. You can't fool me, Shadow. This time, you're mine. Alright, so, uh, welcome back, guys. Um, just thought I'd show you the in-between cutscene between the two boards, levels, whatever you want to call them. Oh, here's another one. Emergency broadcast to all mobile units. Headquarters to all mobile units. All points bulletin. Be on the lookout for Shadow, the Black Hedgehog. Wanted in connection with the terrorist attacks. Last seen in the vicinity of downtown Westopolis. Orders are, capture him. Dead or alive. Out of my way. Coming through. Stop! Don't move, or we'll shoot! Stupid humans. Very impressive, Shadow. Who are you? You don't remember anything, do you? But you will, in time. But now, there's no time to waste here. Go and access the United Federation's mainframe. Understand? Got it. What? Well, I don't know how you access a mainframe, but uh, we're hacking into the CIA now as that previous custody stated. So... I guess, uh... I can control which way this, leads. this is kind of like grinding, maybe, I guess? And you can kind of pick which way you grind and stuff, you know. This is actually one of my least favorite boards. It's the second board, but I know. It's... I just don't like it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die at least once, you know, just because I hate this board so much. It's not even that hard, I just don't like it. But I mean, it is a kind of a fast paced board, and I think it's actually pretty long. Like. I don't know. It's really long. And there's Rouge the Bat. One of these days I'll probably do like Sonic Adventure Battle or something. Just to kind of show you how I know all these people. Because, I mean, it, they're basic Sonic people, but like, this is the sequel to that game. So, it's kind of just, you know, a little fun thing to do for a little while. And you can beat this game fairly quickly. You know, probably about hour, two hours at max. But the thing is, you can, you can beat it like 20 times. Like, there's so many different ways that you can do and like paths you can take and stuff that even if you beat it a bunch of times there's still always going to be like a different like I guess progression that you can play through ow what if we could like actually do this stuff that'd be kind of cool be like a hacker this is what a hacker does Oh crap. Um jump up that.
And let's go on this block. Another drop here. Uh, probably gonna die right about here. Or I'm not. I don't know. Actually, I probably will die here. There are a lot of, like... I do remember that there's a lot of, like... Uh... Poles and stuff that you have to grab onto in this level. I do like how they change the style so that, like... All of the obstacles and stuff are digital instead of them being, like, blocks and stuff. But... I don't like how... Oh, there it is. Oh well, whatever. Not too far back. Just a couple seconds, I guess. Um. Wait, I think I just skipped Doom. Whatever. And I really don't like how the blocks always form, like, right in front of you. But you can never, like tell where they're gonna be. Well, I mean, I guess in some ways you can, but not all the time. Grabbing onto the pole. Alright. And so, dude, I wonder how, like, strong these characters are and stuff. Like, you have to be pretty strong to hold onto a pole and like climb up a pole and stuff for a super long amount of time. I guess they must just be beasts or stuff. Well, they do eat rings and stuff. Or I don't know if they eat rings, but uh, they probably get power from them. Because you know, if you don't have any rings, you die. Uh oh. And I fell off. Alright, let's try and take let's try and take care of this guy. Or not. Let's just jump on this. Okay, let's kill this guy. I can't seem to like lock on to him. I don't know. Bruce seems to be doing a pretty good job though. That's one of the things that I don't get, like, with the good characters and stuff, they always, like, help you fight, but with, like, the evil characters, they just have a little projection of themselves, and they're like, hey, go do everything for me, because I'm lazy and I suck at life. That's why you're helping me. And that just gave my little bar on the right a bunch of, like, points. And I went up the wrong way. There we go. Rings. Uh. Oh. Okay. You had to attract the searchlight. And another grinding thing. Wait. What happens if you go the other way? I don't know. That kind of looks like it hurts, like, grinding on that, or spinning around. How does, like, spinning around a bunch make you go really fast? That would definitely slow me down. Like, rolling? You don't go very fast. Except in Zelda, you do go very fast when you roll. And break this barrier. Hey, they're on our side. There's an entry. 
Well, that's great that they're on our side, but I'm gonna kill them anyway. It's not like they're gonna stop attacking me. Alright, so here's the ring, and I guess we need to change uh, the focuses here. So, what do I do? Oh, I need to hop on one of these searchlights. Yeah. And jump up. Oh, wow. Who knew that there'd be a huge structure on top of this thing? Up. And wormhole. Cyberspace is so big. Oh, and these guys. My favorite ones. Because you never, you can never hit them just like right. They always turn on their little shield right when you attack them. So you always lose rings and stuff. Search light! There's a key that I'm probably never going to use. And I don't think I explained this to you. And I didn't let the game explain it to you. But like, if you get keys and stuff, you can go into secret rooms and all this different junk. And I don't really go for that stuff. I just kind of play through the game. Enjoy it. Alright, and right here, uh, I... It took me forever to actually do this. So I'm just going to fast forward to the last part where I actually do do it. Which is right now. And these things are going really slowly. There we go. And I'll probably have to drop... Yeah. I mean, who would think of a level like this? It's just so... weird. And there's the core that we just blew up. Whatever. I'm gonna guess I get a C on this, or maybe a D. I don't know. Aw, come on. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe.